So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We're still here in Perry County on an absolutely beautiful February 26th morning, Monday morning. And there's another covered bridge behind me doing a whole total of what's going to turn out to be 10 covered bridges here today. It's just a beautiful day to be driving around the Pennsylvania countryside anyway. But this is the best line covered bridge back behind me. We just got done doing the Wagoners covered bridge, which I thought was burned down, but they rebuilt that one. But anyway, well, let's check this one out. Let me show you some maps first, though. All right, stick so the maps out. Of course, here's our Pennsylvania map, and we are here in Perry County once again, just kind of northwest of Harrisburg there. Get the other map from Purple Lizard. This is the Purple Lizard map for Tuscarora State Forest, which is in Perry County, but so it makes a good... Well, they have other things besides the State Forest in here. Yeah, so there's Rice's Covered Bridge. We did that. There's Wagoners. That's the one that was burnt down, but they rebuilt it. And then there's Adair's Covered Bridge. We did that one years ago. But over here is the Best Line Covered Bridge. And there's a couple more down this way, too. All along this Route 274. There's a few more up this way, too, I think we're going to do. But anyway, enough of the maps. Let's ex explore the Best Line Covered Bridge. All right, here we go. The Best Line Covered Bridge. Very seldom used road here. This is the Bist Line Bridge Road. Kind of a very rural area here. Perry County. We'll take it. Bridge is 96 feet long, so just under 100 feet. We've had some nice longer ones today. This is the Sherman's Creek once again. I think the most of the ones we do today go over to Sherman's Creek. Yeah, I've seen different dates when it's built. One said 1871, another site said 1880. But that's kind of the way it is, these covered bridges. Get all different kinds of dates. Looks like there's been some work to it done. This doesn't definitely does not look like an original beam. So, probably in some recent time. You can tell, see quite the, that looks like an original beam right there, but that looks like a newer one right there. So maybe I have the date written in my notes when it was rebuilt, but yeah, like that's a new beam. That's an older one. I like when they, even when they rebuild them, they tr I like when they try to salvage what they can. Obviously we got the Burr Arch Truss here. There's our king post, into the one vertical. Yeah, yeah it's definitely original. It looks like it gets, it's like thicker at the bottom, it gets narrower. Yeah, that's like an original beam. That's a newer one. Yeah, it's really peaceful. Birds are singing this morning. Yeah, these look newer too, these uh, stone works. Yeah. Just beautiful day here. Almost feels like April, but it's till the end of February. All right, we'll take it. Gotta try and get some shots of this bridge now too though. Well, let's head down here. Maybe, I don't see any posted signs, on either, posted signs on either side here. So maybe if we go down here and get a view up that way, maybe on the other side too, but let's see how that works. Looks like someone's camping area. Yeah, this is the shaded side. That's a cool shot there through the trees. Oh, I see some flowers blooming down here. This is Speedwell, one of my mom's favorite flowers in the spring. One of the first to bloom. It's like here in February and it's blooming. Anyway, we gotta pay attention to covered bridges. Yeah, that's a cool shot right there. Let's get a view underneath here. Should be steel beams the length that it is. I know someone, uh, someone recently commented, I think it was Jay, that when the bridge is under a certain tonnage, they don't have the steel beams. But I also find when they're, yes, yeah, yes, definitely steel beams. When they're a certain length too, they seem to always have steel beams, but yeah, even that stonework up there goes new. So this one receives some work, like I said recently. One, two, three, five huge steel beams. And I'm trying to remember too to tell you which covered bridge this is as far as the numbers go. I don't have a bit too good of a job with that today, but this is bridge number 104 that we've been to here in Pennsylvania. 
yeah, a little while ago we did our hundredth, one hundredth. That was what Eshelman's Mill covered bridge down Lancaster. So I did four today, so we're up to 104. Here's making our way to the other side. Um, not sure which picture I like better. This one has a telephone pole in the way. <laughs> get that out. Maybe we'll get a decent shot there. That's not so bad. Well, you can let me know which shot you like better, the one on this side or the other side, but anyway. Beautiful. In the summertime, you won't be able to see as much of it with all the leaves out. But anyway, another beautiful covered bridge. The Bist Line. In a beautiful area. And we'll go ahead and make our way back across. Yeah, this one doesn't have like a, a tonnage amount. A lot of the covered bridges, they have a weight limit. Like I was saying, I think Jay mentioned when it's the weight limit is up to like just three tons. They don't have the steel beams, but some of these bigger ones don't seem to have a weight limit. Well, with that many steel beams underneath, I don't know if that you would. They still have that height restriction. Yeah, there's a friend, the Burr Arch. No windows on this one, though. Yeah, Perry County loves its covered bridges. They do a lot to you know, restore them and keep them going. But you know what's coming next? We're gonna hop in a Jeep and take you across the Bist Line covered bridge. All right, looks like no one is coming. We've only had one vehicle pass or coming across the bridge since I've been here. The Bist Line covered bridge. All right, that'll be it for this one, folks. We're headed to the Enslow cover bridge. Next is just actually maybe almost about a mile that way. So hopefully I'll see you there, folks.